prostate cancer occurs when abnormal cells in the prostate, a small walnut-sized gland found in the pelvis of males, begins to grow out of control. The prostate is located in front of the rectum and below the bladder. The prostate gland is responsible for the production of seminal fluid, which nourishes semen in men. Most prostate cancers are adenocarcinomas, which develop out of the gland cells that produce that prostate fluid. Other types of cancer, like small cell carcinomas and sarcomas, may develop in the prostate, but these are rare. Outside of skin cancer, prostate cancer is the most common type of cancer in men, and the likelihood of developing prostate cancer increases as a man ages. However, most prostate cancers grow very slowly and remain confined to the prostate gland, which makes them easy to address through therapies like radiation. In its early stages, prostate cancer may not exhibit any symptoms, which is why it's recommended that men over 50 begin prostate cancer screenings every two years. However, there are symptoms that may be indicative of prostate cancer, including frequent, weak, or painful urination, blood in the urine or semen, erectile dysfunction, painful ejaculation, rectum pressure, bone pain, especially in the hips, spine, or ribs, weight loss, or weakness or numbness in the legs or feet. Following a prostate cancer diagnosis, the first step is to assign your cancer a grade and stage, which helps in determining how aggressive it is. In order to provide a more detailed explanation of the cancer beyond its stage, the doctors at CERO often define a localized disease by its tumor characteristics, or risk stratification, which quantifies the risks associated with those characteristics. Depending on the growth and stage of the cancer, as well as your age and overall health, your doctor may recommend treatments such as radiation or surgery.